Hey, what's going on? And welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today I'm very excited to be sharing with you the admin of the Cyber Day 4. This is a way for us to learn information security skills from TriHackMe. And now we are on day 4, where we're actually completing some challenges that will really help us be able to actually go out there and learn some hands-on information security skills. So going back to try hack me here, you see that on day four, I haven't done anything. It's Santa's running behind. So Santa's running behind for whatever reason. We need to learn a few things. How to understand authentication, where it's used. So if you read through all this, you actually learn that. Then we need to know what fuzzing is and how to use Burp Suite to actually intercept passwords and also brute force for things. So this is going to be very exciting because we'll be using Burp Suite, which is one of my very best favorite tools. So if you're very interested in this, please like, subscribe, and also just follow me as I complete all 25 days of this challenge. So that's going to be very, very fun. First thing that you need to do before you get started with this is start the machine. Make sure that the machine is started by clicking start the machine button up here. Once the machine is started, go all the way up here and also start the attack machine. So the button will be right here where it says show split view, but you should be able to start the attack machine. So once you start the attack machine, it should look like this and you have a split view. Because I am actually trying to make sure that we don't deal with this, I am showing you the full view from right here. So once you get to the machine here, start your Firefox browser and also look for Burp Suite. Then uh, Tools, Web, you want the Burp Suite Community Edition. Please start that one and it will start just like this. Because at the end of the day, we need to go through all these activities here and answer a few questions. One of the things that it says is access the login page at this IP address. So we now know our victim IP address is on 10, 10, That's the IP address that we need to brute force. Once our burp suite starts, we need to do that. And burp suite started here. Let's go and say next. Next. The community version is not that nice. So you got to just have to deal with free here. If it's a paid version, you don't have to deal with this. But for now, we're going to do that. Once it starts, the first place we need to do is the proxy. We need to make sure that it's uh, set to capturing on. On the target, since we are only dealing with this website that they mentioned here, 10, 10, 69, we need to go back there and just let's set that target to that. Under the scope, so scope, let's add the target. All right, so that's our target right there. So make sure to set it in the target section here. Say OK. This will just make sure that we don't have a lot of um, noise as we try to capture. So I'll say yes for now. And then make sure that the proxy is on. All right, so the proxy is on. Next, go to your Firefox browser, launch the Firefox browser, click on this little cookie thing here. Make sure to check burp is intercepting. It will be off by default, so make sure that it's intercepting. Then after that, all right, so this will be intercepted by burp. And if you go back to our burp suite, you see a bunch of noise here. Let's just drop a bunch of these. So once you drop everything, go ahead and refresh 10, 10, 69. All right. And here we are. We're intercepting the request. So that's good. We have our burp suit working the way we want. Now let's go back to our challenge. Access the login URL. Yes, we did. Configure burp suit in Firefox and submit some dummy credentials and intercept the request using Intruder. So I'm going to hit complete here, then go back to our burp suite. And then let's go ahead and forward this request here. And some dummy data is going to be, I'm going to just say admin. No, wait, let's go back here. What is the valid uh, password that you can use for the Santa account? So let's use Santa account. So username is going to be Santa. Then the password, I'm just going to put the word password. You need to make sure that your burp suite is set correctly. Then log in. It's not going to work because burp suite intruder in the background is actually intercepting your request. Looks like this is uh, forwarding telemetry to Firefox, so I'll drop that. Drop this and drop that. 
All right. So here's my request to the Santa account that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to log in as Santa, which is the username that we're given. Then I'm trying to use the password, password. First thing that you need to do if you're going to be brute forcing, in this case, we're going to be trying multiple passwords under the password section here where I said password. So you need to send this to repeater. If you send this to repeater, you can click send and you should see that login failed somewhere here invalid username and password. So repeater says it's invalid username and password. So what we can do is we can go back to our proxy. Let's send this to intruder instead. And intruder is what we're going to be using to brute force or fuzz, as they're saying here. Right click and send to intruder. We're going to be using intruder to make sure that we can actually brute force this. So in intruder here, the target is the same. The positions, that's the most important one. You want to make sure that um, you clear all these positions that are highlighted right now by hitting the clear button. The only position that we want to brute force is going to be the password. And we put the word password in there. So make sure to highlight the correct thing and hit add. So that's what we'll be brute forcing here. How are we going to be brute forcing it? If you go back to our challenge, it says that we actually have a word list in root, rooms, whatever this pass path is. So we're going to use that as part of our payloads in this case. So we'll go back here and go to payloads. Instead of paste, we'll just hit load. And then we'll go back to root. It says rooms, advent of cyber day four, and passwords.txt. So we open that. It loads the passwords that we're given to try. So what, what's, what Burp Suite is going to do is it's going to go and try all these passwords as part of the password. This is how you brute force for passwords on a login form on a web application with Burp Suite. So hit start attack. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So right now, your eyes should go to the status page. You see 200. That's okay. And the length. The length, every time the length changes, you know you have a new password or at least something is interesting. So right now the length is 2573. You notice that it's 2573 everywhere. So let's keep going here. All right, so looking at the length here, see it's 2573, 2573 until it reaches the word cookie. And that's 2548. That's a good indicator that your brute force actually worked and you most likely have a password. So the, right now we're going to try the word cookie. You can point this to any word list that you want, and that should work. But for now, let's go back here. So I'll type the word cookie. That was how we brute force using Burp Suite. So of course, now it's, it's looking for Burp Suite. Okay, so once, once we're done and we know we found the password, I'm going to turn interception off by just clicking that button. Then after that, we can see that we signed in. So I turned interception off, and I put the password cookie that we found and I'm now in TCM Santa underscore delivers. So that's what we have here. Let's go back to our challenge. What is the password that you used? The password was cookie. And then of course, flag that we found is this try me Santa underscore delivers. All right, let's hit submit. And as you can see, we just completed day three. So just a quick recap. We learned how to brute force for passwords from a wait list that we're given using Burp Suite. And this was a really, really fun uh, challenge. I've done this so many times and I hope that you learned something. And if you're interested, please joining me, uh, join me every Sunday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we do this all the time. So if you're interested, please like, make sure to subscribe and let YouTube know that this is worth watching. Otherwise, thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.